Hello, welcome back to IT Landy, and this time we will be focusing on one of the popular topics nowadays, which is uh, Kubernetes. So, we will uh, cover during this uh, course the what is it, how we can consume it across, you know, the public cloud or on-premise, and then we will start deep diving into one by one at later courses so what is the objective for this here kubernetes configuration hopefully by end of this course we should be able to discuss the different uh, kubernetes configuration options discuss the infrastructure consideration before installing kubernetes discuss the infrastructure choices for kubernetes deployment either public cloud or on-premise and then review the installation tools and resources so as i said this is the main focus for us let's just start a Kubernetes can be installed using different configuration. The four major installation types are briefly presented below. All-in-one single node installation. In this setup, all the master and workers components are installed and running on a single node. While it is useful for learning, development, and testing, it should not be used in production. Okay? So Minikube is one of the examples, and we are going to explore this in future uh, chapters or courses, okay? So bear in mind, do remember Minikube. Second option is single node, etcd, single master, and multi-worker installation. In this setup, we have single master node, which also runs a single node etcd instance. Multiple worker nodes are connected to the master node, so one to multi, okay? First one was one, everything within that single node. Second one is one master and multi node. Third option is single node, etcd, multi master and multi worker. So again, single node, but multi master, multi worker. What that will give me in this setup, we have multiple master nodes, uh, configured in HA mode, but we have a single node etcd instance. Multiple worker nodes are connected to the master nodes. And the last, uh, which is the most popular one for production, is multi node etcd, multi master and multi worker installation. In this mode, etcd is configured in uh, HA clustered. The master nodes are also configured in HA mode, so as the workers. And this is the most advanced and recommended production uh, setup. You've noticed like everything is around basically HA, availability, and you know, the configuration itself. Moving next to the infrastructure of the Kubernetes installation, once we decide on the installation type, we also need to make some infrastructure related decisions, such as should we set up Kubernetes on bare metal public cloud or private cloud? Yeah, bare metal, which means like something you host yourself, public or private cloud, something like uh, AWS, Azure, or GCP. Which underlying OS should we use? Shall we use or should we use uh, Red Hat, Core OS, CentOS, or something else? or in the scenario of Microsoft will be Ubuntu. Which networking solution should we use? All and so on, yeah? There's a Kubernetes documentation. I'll put the links all the way down, which you can explore for details on choosing the right solution. Next to, we'll take a closer look at the solution themselves. So, I'm going to start with the local host installation. These are only a few local host installation options available to deploy single or multi-node Kubernetes cluster on your workstation or laptop, basically. Uh, you can run it on machine. And these options are like Minikube, Docker Desktop, or CDK on LXD. Single node, local Kubernetes cluster, Minikube. And then you got Docker, which is pretty popular as well. Single node, local Kubernetes cluster for Windows and Macs. And then we have the multi-node local cluster with LXD containers. Minikube is the preferred and recommended way to create all-in-one Kubernetes setup locally. We will be using it to extensively in this course. Yeah. Next, we will cover the on-premise installation. 
on premise installation kubernetes can be installed on premise on a vm and bare metal what do we need on a vm kubernetes can be installed on vm created via va grant or vagrant vmware vsphere kvm or other configuration management tools cm tools in conjunction with hypervisor software there are different tools available to automate you know the installation such as ansible or cube adm yeah these are the tools to automate the installation on these vms next is the bare metal kubernetes can be installed on on-premise bare metal on top of different operating systems like red hat core os cent os and fedora ubuntu etc most of the tools used to install kubernetes on vms can be used with bare metal installation I mean, we move on to the next part, which is the cloud installation. Kubernetes can be installed and managed on almost any cloud environment. Host a solution with host a solution, any given software is completely managed by the provider. The, we pay for what we consume, such as uh, Google Kubernetes Engine, Azure Kubernetes, uh, Kubernetes Service, Amazon Elasticsearch, DigitalOcean Kubernetes, and OpenShift. Uh, detected and platform 9 and IBM cloud Kubernetes these are very popular in my opinion the first three are the most popular nowadays yeah Google AWS and uh, Amazon the cloud installation Trunky cloud solution below are the only few of the Trunky cloud uh, solution and can install with few commands as I said it's infrastructure such as uh, GCE AWS EC2 or AKS or EKS as well, you know, Amazon. On premise solution can be installed uh, in private cloud with just few commands similar JKE, OpenShift Container by Red Hat or IBM Private Cloud. Next is the Kubernetes installation tool or resource. While discussing installation configuration underlying infrastructure, let's we have a look at the tool or resource are available for us. Cube ADM, Cube Spray, Cops, Cube AWS. Cube ADM is first class citizen on the Kubernetes ecosystem. It is a secure and recommended way to bootstrap single multi node Kubernetes. It has set of building blocks set up, easy to extend. Cube ADM does not support for provisioning of the host. Cube Spray is formerly known as a cargo. We can install high HA Kubernetes cluster on AWS. GCP or Azure OpenStack or bare metal via Ansible or uh, most uh, valid uh, Linux distribution, which is Kubernetes Incubator or Incubator. Yeah. And COPS, we can create, destroy, upgrade, and maintain production high available Kubernetes cluster. It can provision a machine as well as like it's most popular in AWS, GCP, and uh, COPS project. Uh, it was at one point it was very popular and then we move to AWS and within cube AWS we can create upgrade and destroy Kubernetes cluster from command line QAWS also known as Kubernetes incubator project which is the uh, improved version of COPS if the existing solution and tools do not fit your requirement then there are some documentation which you can explore install Kubernetes from scratch and worth checking Kubernetes hardware through GitHub and project by uh, Elsley Hightower, which share the manual steps involved in bootstrapping Kubernetes cluster. That's all what I had for you for today. Hopefully, we've learned something useful around Kubernetes. Options are available for us, how we can consume and utilize either public cloud, which is popular nowadays, but if you have compliance requirement or cost impact, you can host it on premise and you can maintain uh, the environment and soon we will start discussing uh, in more details each one of these options and we will run courses against uh, this public cloud and then on-premise installation as well thank you for watching and goodbye for now